Hi, this is Trevor Kim doing uh, Module 4, the video presentation. Um, what I chose as my piece of technology is called Mathagon uh, Polypad. Um, the learning theory behind this would be more of a connected, uh, connectivism, which is connecting students more to the digital age. Um, so instead of using kind of uh, perhaps outdated tools, if we have newer tools we can use instead uh, that are more efficient or more user friendly than what we have used to cover our uh, math topics uh, previously. Um, currently in my class, I use technology uh, some of the time I post uh, all of our assignments on Google Classroom. That way students can always look back on what questions they need to do or what assignments there are out there. Uh, I also use um, technology anytime I can for different tools like this if I find it out there. Um, right now in my first year, I haven't found a ton of... Uh, sources other than uh, Desmos I use pretty frequently. That way kids don't have to buy graphing calculators or the school doesn't have to buy graphing calculators uh, because of the price. Um, instead we can graph uh, using Desmos on the computers that we have or the Chromebooks that we have since we're at a one-to-one -one ratio here. Um, so on the process of teaching through this technology, what I found this for is for my seventh grade class as they are kind of covering a geometry unit. Um, this was kind of brought up to me in one of my recent uh, MTSS trainings as a news source that they've kind of found. Um, once again, it's mathagon.org and it's polypad. And so what we can do is typically we use um, a compass like this in the past, or one of these, or a newer style, and a protractor like this. But I've noticed a lot of my students got frustrated. A lot of my student or seventh graders got frustrated trying to use these and draw a perfect circle. As myself, I kind of struggle drawing a perfect circle with those still, um, especially in the math books we have are consumables and the page it, it makes it very difficult with where the creases and the pages or where the spine is to actually get the full circle that you need um, so once they showed me this and i tinkered around they didn't actually show it for geometry use but i found that they have uh, your ruler you can pull out and compass and protractor mm -hmm. Um, they can pull out. So like one of ours uh, was trying to figure out, one of our problems trying to figure out, can we make a triangle uh, with side lengths or a base of eight and then two side lengths of three units and a side length of four unit. So what we showed the kids, uh, first we want to measure our side length or our base length of eight. Um, since the students have Chromebooks, I use this, I brought it up on my smart board. Uh, my smart board's a little fidgety at times, but they can drag exactly the same way on their, on their Chromebooks because they flip around um, where it's a touch screen. So it's very convenient for them to use. Well, you can go ahead and measure out your eight on the ruler. It's done perfectly. You don't have to hold the ruler especially or anything like that. Then after that, um, need to check uh, with side lengths of three and four. So we'd set up our compass and it snaps on at zero on the ruler. And we can drag it over to four on the ruler and snap it there. And it kind of clicks at all the measurements to make it easier for the kids. Um, and then it snaps on to the side right there. Instead of trying to hold like a protractor still, 
or a compass still, it actually snaps on to the line for you. And then you can grab your pencil and it draws a nice, easy circle for you without um, much air on it. Okay, so that was our three, no, that was our four inch, or four unit line. Then you come back and do the same thing. Snap on, snap on to three, come to our other side, and it snaps on. I mean, kind of go on a step-by-step -step process on the first one with the students to get them uh, acclimated to their computers using this technology. Draw our three units. And then we go through the concept, okay, so what do they think? Do you think you can draw a triangle with these, with these circles? And then not really explaining to the process of them first, like, no, because they don't intersect. Um, but letting them kind of use their deductive reasoning at first to say, okay, what do these circles mean? Why did we draw them? What does it uh, mean that, okay, this circle is four units away at any point on the circle. This unit is three units away at any point on the circle. And since they never intersect, we know we can never create a triangle with uh, side lengths of four and three if the base is eight. And then we go on to uh, several more uh, problems where they start intersecting uh, up here, down here, so you can make a couple different triangles, and so on and so forth. So um, how it impacted student learning initially for my seventh graders, it took a little bit. Uh, they're a little squirmy on it. They try to get distracted on different sites at times, which kind of uh, hinders the progress um, but once they got it down, um, their squirreliness kind of stopped of getting sidetracked of, they actually enjoy using this technology over using, uh, the old style. Now I opened up to where if you wanted to use a physical copy, you still can. Um, it also made it to where when the students take home their Chromebooks that they can actually work on assignment and do it via Mathagon instead of trying to take all my uh, protractors and compasses home too when I uh, need them potentially in other classes. Uh, one student that it really impacted I noticed is one kid that always wants to come in. I have my kids at first hour, uh, eight o'clock every day and he comes in at 7.50 and starts playing video games on his computer every day, and I have to tell him to let's shut it down at eight o'clock. Um, he was really into this, having this digital interface, and it got him a lot more locked into the concepts than when I had previously used the compass to explain to start before we moved on to the digital model. So, um, Overall, I think it had a pretty positive impact. There are some students that, of course, don't like the digital interface as much. Um, that's why I wanted to teach them both methods and let the kids kind of choose which one was um, their kind of favorite method, and then they could take it and run with it. Uh, but overall, I think a lot of the kids did enjoy it, and it will help them in seventh grade. Um, and then it will give them another uh, technology uh, opportunity when they come in geometry and hit other concepts that we use our compass and protractor. And instead of doing our shaky lines or anything like that, it will snap on, be pretty straight and firm, and it will be a lot easier to work with.